If you're feeling the disappointment of Code Vein not running after almost two and a half years of waiting like I was last night, hopefully this video will help you out. Uh, I spent a good four hours troubleshooting this game last night because whenever I would click on it in Steam, absolutely nothing would happen. I would get the little key art, the splash screen, and then the game would never run. Now, I actually, I resolved the issue. I broke it again to demonstrate how to fix it in the video. However, uh, for a reason you'll see in a minute, my audio cuts out uh, when, I, when I fix it again. So I'm going to have to leave it fixed, and you're going to have to trust that the game didn't work for me. <laughs> I mean, I have no reason to make this video otherwise, uh, but everything is working now. Uh, before all the thumbs downs come along, just, you know, understand PC troubleshooting is uh, different on a case-by-case -case basis. So they, this may help somebody out uh, and it may not help you out. So, you know, hopefully it does. I had the same issue with a different game. This resolved it. So it, it could be something uh, in, in the game engine. An Unreal Engine, or I'm not really sure, but it seems this is the second time it's happened. So uh, it's something to keep in mind if if any future games uh, just don't launch for whatever inexplicable reason. Now I tried I tried a ton of things last night. I tried to reinstall the game three times, uh, which you can try. Try to reinstall the game. That doesn't work. Go to Properties, uh, Local Files, Verify Integrity. Here I did that three times. Didn't work. That works for a lot of people. Uh, I reinstalled my GPU drivers, which I knew weren't the issue. That didn't work, of course, because you know I had no other issues with them. Uh, restarted the computer. Pretty much everything that you can think of, all the standard stuff. I even uninstalled Steam, which got rid of all of my games, and put put me on the non-beta version. So I'm back to the old library, which, to be honest, is is actually not a bad thing. Uh, <laughs> uh, and nothing nothing worked. Finally, I figured, all right, let me start attacking. You know, let me start troubleshooting uh, my hardware components. So the first one I checked out ended up being the culprit, which was my sound card. Now, I use a Sound Blaster X AE5 sound card, uh, and that's what was causing the issue. I can still use the sound card, but I have to change the settings on it. So you're going to want to go into your uh, volume mixer, which you can do by clicking on the tray icon on the bottom right here right-clicking the speakers icon and then clicking on volume mixer you can also get to it uh, in the, through the control panel and the sound settings however you want to do it so here we are we're in the speaker properties you're gonna want to click on the advanced tab and the issue for me is that my audio quality was on 32-bit 384 kilohertz now that is extreme overkill you're you're never gonna you're, you're never gonna take uh, advantage of that of that quality unless you have uh, an audio source that's encoded in 32 bit and 384 kilohertz, uh, which is <laughs> which is pretty rare. Uh, so you can go you know go ahead and dumb that down. If you still want to have overkill quality, you could bring it down to the previous you know the above setting, which is 32 bit, 192 kilohertz. Uh, and that's going to uh, solve the problem. That's what I have it on right now. To be honest, you could probably go to 2496. That's kind of a, an industry standard for studio quality. And then 16441 is CD quality. Uh, you know, don't go that low if you don't need to. Not that most people would notice the difference, but 2496 is good. You still want overkill. You paid for the sound card, right? So 32192 is the maximum that uh, this game will support. So click OK after that, and then the game should run without an issue. I went ahead and clicked on Play, and it should load right up. Now, I wanted to break it again to show that it didn't run previously, but I'd have no reason to make this video otherwise. <laughs> uh, and then once I changed my, my audio setting, my microphone will cut out after that, so I couldn't finish the video. Uh, also, if you if you notice, I'm using an ultra wide monitor. There is an ultra wide fix for this game. So if you're using an ultra wide monitor, go ahead and Google that. I'll probably do a video that on that as well because uh, it's really easy to to mod it. But there are a couple little things that you can miss, and I've seen a ton of piece, people posting online that they're missing that you know it's not working for them. So I might throw up a video on that as well. Uh, and that's it. All right. Thanks for watching. Peace.